lovely to see you again. Welcome back to another one of this blue ASMR's video. I'm very happy to see you again. Before I get started on today's video, I would like to do my channel name. That is becoming very predictable. I say that in every video, well, almost every video, every video that has a channel naming in it is, has um, the phrase, before I start my video, I would like to do my channel naming. I think that's hilarious. So, today's channel that I will be naming is Bitter Cocoa. ASMR Bitter Cocoa 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 ASMR If you would like to go and check that channel out the link is down in the description of the video and I'm sure that Bitter Coco would be very happy to receive your view so don't hesitate to go and view some of his videos and like and comment and subscribe so today's video is going to be a little bit different than my usual videos because it's an explanation video and there will be no triggers <laughs> no triggers in an ASMR video how unusual is that? but yes, um, this will be an explanation video as you can see from the title I will be explaining ASMR Mostly to people who don't know what ASMR is, but, you know, if you do know what ASMR is and you happen to, um, to find this video and decide to watch it, that's okay too. Welcome. But just so you know that this video is intended to explaining ASMR to people who don't know what it is. So. I've divided this video into different parts. So the first part of this video is why this video? Why am I making, this, I'm making video? this video? Because to me, I think that ASMR is still relatively unheard of to most people. And a lot of people do know of it and don't understand it. In regards of ASMR, there are three types of people. One people who know of ASMR and, and like two, it. people who know of it but don't like it and three, people who know, people who don't know of it that to me, <laughs> those to me are the three types of people surrounding ASMR and this video is mostly for the people who don't know of it because I will be explaining what ASMR is but also a little for the people who know of it but don't like it because it's my belief that at least a small percentage of these people dislike it because they don't fully understand it and so they have not given it a fair chance that's what I believe anyway ASMR definition what is ASMR? what does it mean? It's common knowledge in the ASMR community that the acronym ASMR means Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response But as I'm making this video, um, as I'm aiming at a public that doesn't know what ASMR is You're probably thinking, that's just a bunch of words that I don't understand which is completely normal. Well, to illustrate, think of that worldwide sound that even makes your teeth hurt. The sounds of nails on a blackboard. Oh. 
what he's just heard, didn't they? Yeah, you might uh, reaction to that sound, which, might I add, is known well worldwide as being very uncomfortable to listen to. It works on the same principle as ASMR, only in reverse. ASMR is a physical and emotional response of relaxation and drowsiness that occurs with the stimulation of sensorial triggers which vary from person to person. Nails on the blackboard is simply a bad response to a sound that triggers discomfort and for me personal, real dental pain. So if society accepts one sound that creates a bodily reaction, even a negative one, why can't we accept that certain triggers can also create a bodily response, and a positive one at that? Some people also do not understand and or like ASMR because they don't experience it. Because not everyone experiences this reaction to sensorial stimulation, and there is nothing to be done, their brains just don't register that response, so for them it is difficult to like something that doesn't work on them. On a person who does experience ASMR, when presented with triggers that work on them, triggers which it is up to each and every one of us to discover which triggers correspond to you. person who experiences ASMR when presented with triggers that work on them, they experience varying levels of relaxation, serenity, calmness, drowsiness, and sometimes even a tingling, a tingly sensation, which is commonly known as tingles, that are generally located in the back of the head, leading down the spine, but can also occur all over the body. Sometimes people can even feel tingles in their toes when the ASMR response is strong enough. ASMR, just a YouTube phenomenon? Absolutely not. There are undoubtedly people out there who have realised that ASMR has a real potential to make money from and have jumped on that train purely for financial reasons, but I honestly believe that a lot of us a lot of us ASM artists are doing it mainly because they have reaped the emotional and psychological benefits that ASMR has to offer, and have a genuine desire to spread the help it gave them to others in need. Before, before being an internet phenomenon, ASMR is, first and foremost, a feeling that occurs in everyday life. It is not just an, a craze on the internet. Classical examples of everyday ASMR include trips to the hairdressers where you feel relaxed because of the scalp massage, or a massage session that made you sleepy, or even have you felt tingly while accidentally overhearing some people whisper to themselves in a group. These are all and but a few examples of everyday ASMR, which gave birth to the, to the ASMR craze on the internet. Videos which are, so, which are there solely in the purpose of trying to reproduce the relaxation feeling you get when experiencing ASMR in order to help people relax. The uses of ASMR. How can you use ASMR and how can it help you? ASMR being a feeling of relaxation, naturally you can use it to help you relax. But what else? It can also help you with insomnia because of the drowsiness it can induce, anxiety, depression, loneliness, self-acceptation, and other psychological distresses in general. It basically can help in a lot of different um, can have a lot of uh, psychological benefits if you're suffering from any mental health or psychological issues. It 
ASMR can generally help with a lot of that. How did I come to know of ASMR and what led me to become an ASMR artist? I'm not going to hide that I have suffered from various mental health issues for the most for the most part of my life, and through these troubles, my brother once briefly mentioned about these videos that he sometimes watches to help him to help himself relax and to sleep. He thought they might help me with my insomnia, of which I have suffered for not far from ten years now ish. I was sceptical at first at the idea that a video could do anything for my mental health issues, but thought it was worth a try. If there was even a chance it could help, I had nothing to lose. I quickly realised that it did help and started watching the videos regularly, discovering the triggers that worked on me as I went along. My brother told me about these videos in 2013. And although ASMR didn't magically make my problems disappear, it has definitely helped. Now, six years later, I watch ASMR almost daily, which pushed me to eventually make my own YouTube channel in the hopes that I could help others, just like I was helped by ASMR. So, I know that this video is uh, shorter than my usual ASMR videos. But that's purely because it's a different type of ASMR video. This is not a video where there were any triggers. I was just explaining the generality of what ASMR is, um, hoping to be able to make things a little bit clearer for certain people who don't understand what ASMR is, and for people who've genuinely never heard of it. So the idea for this video came to me when I was I was talking to someone and um the person was inquiring into, you know, what what I do on YouTube because I mentioned that I had a YouTube channel and um the person obviously had never heard of ASMR and so I explained it to him and he suggested that it might be a good idea if I make a video explaining what ASMR is because he, just like a lot of other people, because ASMR isn't very, um, isn't widely known yet, that it might be beneficial for my viewers to, for there to be an explanatory video out there and I agree this with was him. a while ago and I said I was going to make it but I haven't gotten around to it because I had other um, videos in the making and other things planned. But now that I've gotten around to making it, I'm glad that I did and I hope that it helped. That I managed to explain it in a way that is understandable. I hope that this video has helped you understand ASMR a little bit better. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you and would like uh, to follow me on Facebook or Instagram. The links are down in the description of this video, along with the channel I named in the beginning of the video. I wish you all a very pleasant night. Sweet dreams.